So I was designing my Weldon skid, and I started adding pad eyes, and I realized that I was creating the same sketches and features multiple times to get all the pad eyes in my design. I thought that since I regularly use pad eyes such as the one I was adding, not just to this design, but I use it in a lot of other projects as well, that should just make it a library feature part. This way, I can reuse my sketch and extrusion from different designs and projects, but not have to model it each time to use it. I'll show you how I made mine. So here's the design that I want to add the pad eye library feature to. I need to add them to the top of this face, but also reference the side face so that I can change the angle from design to design and make it customizable for each design that I'm in. So I'll show you how to create the library feature. Firstly, I've saved this part as a library feature part. And I also started off with a base extrude that I sketched on the top face because I kind of want to mimic that top face that I am using in my design. I then want to add two reference planes using the side faces so that I can reference them later as well in my designs to relocate the pad eye with respect to the angle. I want to sketch on the top face and give two dimensions that I can then modify and customize from design to design Using that sketch, I'll create one last reference plane using the sketch line and the top plane. Now I can go ahead and sketch my pad eye profile. Lastly, I want to add everything except the first boss extrude to the library. So I'll select them all and then right click and add them to my library. This will tell the library part which items to use when I bring it into other designs. And now that I have the pad eye, I can use on many designs without having to sketch it over and over and save lots of times in my design process. With the library feature created, I can now just drop into my design and use the references I added to the library part to locate the pad eyes in my current design.